All right, everybody, this will be a warning to all politicians I'm running for president 2024, part 155A. So, um, continuing with what I was talking about on the last one there, do you know who I bet wears a Charlie Manson shirt? The guy that runs Twitter, that guy with the beard. I bet you he'd wear a Charlie Manson shirt. Definitely all the Mantifa tweakers. So going on with, you know, some of the double standard stuff. Do you remember there was a, a kid who was kind of mentally disabled? And it was two or three black youth, youths, like my cousin Vinny, youths, 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 uh, kept this kid took videos of them torturing him and all that because he had a, a Trump hat on. You remember that? I remember watching CBS uh, show and uh, Gail King and the other people there talking about it and saying, you know, well, it's, it, you know, they didn't think it's a hate crime and it was just bad parenting or, or some, something like that. They blew it off and it was as phony as could be. Now, could you imagine if two or three white kids snatched a, a mentally disabled black kid and tortured him and put it on social media? Can you imagine that? You know, and I, I, I've got to ask, what is, you know, this propensity for violence coming out of the African-American community all the time now? Um... And stuff like that. And while we're at it, you know, who incited those kids? Who incited those kids to do that? While we're talking, because they're saying Trump incited this stuff at the Capitol. And that, that they're going to start holding conservatives, going after them, for, and, and suppressing their speech because they're inciting violence. Who incited Jesse Smollett to do what he did? That should have been a hate crime. Because he, he said he was trying to blame it on white people. Shouldn't that have been a hate crime? I'm just trying to point out, there's a lot of hinky shit going on here. And for the left news media to try and, you know, hold their hands up and say, oh, we're not to blame for anything, is absolutely ridiculous. And talking about suppression of speech and, and hunting down Trump supporters. You've been hunting down Trump supporters since he first ran for election in, in, in 16. Remember those kids on their school trip? You played games with that. Remember, you, you called for violence against that kid. Him and his family got death threats. Who incited that? Was it Kathy, uh, what's her name? That unfunny comedian who uh, had like a, a thing about holding Trump's head up or something? Did she incite violence? How about some of those skits on SNL? I don't know. I, I don't watch the show anymore. It used to be funny, well, halfway funny a long time ago. But they used to not uh, take sides. They made fun of every president. But then when it got to Obama, something happened there. That, that was, oh, oh, no, you can't do that. They had a few skits. But, you know, they didn't do near what they, what they used to do to other presidents and stuff. And they sure didn't do like they did to Trump. So it occurred to me, you know, you've been hunting down, hunting down, harassing, assaulting citizens of the United States because they supported a candidate for president and voted for him.
And now it's going it, apparently that wasn't enough for you because you're talking about you're going to keep on doing it. So what other incidents were there that we can look at and say, hmm, you know, if, if that was reversed, they'd be screaming for blood. 